change and stuff. It was Zoom. Zoom was like asking me if it could control YouTube. I'm like, what? This is not. Oh, just go on YouTube. Do what you normally do. I think we're live. Hi. I'm Hi. Live. Hi. Uh, we are. We're live. Okay. I'm we are um, behind schedule today. Because of the fact that it's Monday. <laughs> I did get up and take a shower though because I didn't shower yesterday. I I'm feeling a little crunchy. I can't find my Maverick hat, folks. What? So it's Mission Maverick hat, and it has to be in the house because I don't exercise with that hat because I don't want to get it all gross. So it's got to be in here somewhere. I just don't know where, and it's like making me crazy right now. Um, earrings like literally every day i don't know what every day my earrings i'm always i i found i found some new ones to put in okay these are the ones my brother and sister in law sarah gave them to me years ago i don't remember when but i love these they're so nice because they have the little clasp that just like goes down yeah that's what i got that's my favorite kind yeah uh, I feel like they wear out after a while and then they fall out all the time Maybe because I wear them in the bed. Good morning, Britt and Janet. How are you guys today? Hi, Britt and Janet. Good morning. How was uh, Claire's yesterday? Yesterday, the birthday. I um, I was just saying, I can't find my hat, you guys. This is really starting to worry me. We had a nice day yesterday. Got quite a bit done. My office was getting out of control. Like I hadn't filed in a long time. So I got that mostly filed. Yeah, my office is out of control. Good morning, Julie. Hi, Julie. Um, oh. Yeah, and so in my kitchen, there has been a spot that, good morning, Aaron. How are you? Aaron's puppy. Did you name it? Do we have a name for the puppy? That's what I want to know. Um, and so, yeah, I, sorry, I spaced. There's been this area in my kitchen that has like where I, um, Oh, Janet thinks maybe someone hid the hat from you. I think so. I think, I think someone's messing with me, probably. Yeah. My um, so it's like the cords area where everybody plugs in their iPads and their phones. Yeah. It is out of control. And it's the first thing I see when I walk into the kitchen. Uh-huh. Uh, still no name yet on the puppy, just in case. Oh, okay. Um, so anyway, I put my mind to figuring out how to make that not so annoying and largely it was motivated by the fact that I think we might be having school in my house soon which is fine I'm fine whatever but I wanted it out of my kitchen Jamie's like we can't I don't want I don't want my kids to have like their everything in one space you know what I mean like I want to say okay well let's leave it there and now you're going to come to the living room and play a game you know like I don't want it always in the same space, right? I don't, I specifically don't want them doing school at our kitchen table. That's like supposed to be our fun place, right? So I moved, I have this old like flip top desk that was my Nana's and I moved that into the dining room and then I got all the electronics into that. And so now I don't see it. It's beautiful. And the counter, it, it looks so nice. It just has your, you know, that thing you gave me at Christmas that says, um, wake up, say a prayer and hustle. Yeah. Yeah, so with that and the candle, and the starfish that I stole from our vacation. <laughs> and it's so not cute, but I'm happy about it. Nice. That's my day. I am. Um, yesterday, I was like kind of, um, blah, I just like was not like grumpy, just like kind of like mopey, like kind of like, you know, just couldn't get myself motivated yesterday. I did end up organizing a few kitchen drawers. I had this silverware set that was Frank's mom. And we think it was when, like her wedding silver, we're, we don't really know, but it's pretty nice. So I put that, I washed all that and moved silverware around because we had this one set of silverware that was pretty pathetic. I think we had like two or three silverwares. I don't know, do you guys all have some odd and end silverware? So I made an odds and ends drawer of silverware and then like our everyday drawer of silverware and then our nice drawer of silverware. So 
anyway, I thought that I got at least something done, one thing done. That's and then good. I went to Jewel and I stopped at Wine and Cheese because I got Meredith a little wine package for her birthday to drop off. That's cool. Yeah, and then so that was fun, and we made Frank. Well, I did it. Frank made pasta, and um, I made the meat sauce. So we had pasta. So dinner dinner was delicious, and and then we watched. So I don't know if you guys know this, but the theater movies you can watch at home. You pay like fifteen to twenty dollars, depending on how new it is or whatever but you can watch it at home instead of, you know, since we can't go to the movies, you can get those new release movies at home. Mm -hmm. So we thought the girls have been wanting to see, I still believe really bad. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been wanting to see it. It's the story of Jerry, Jeremy Camp's life. Who's that? He's a Christian singer. Okay. And um, oh my gosh. Did you just cry and cry and cry? The, the entire movie like the and frank even i should probably not say that but he was even crying but fabulous story but you got to be ready to cry and it was so good because oh. he's got an amazing amazing story really um and it kind of puts all of this into perspective because uh mm. both frank and i were like whoa you know this ain't nothing you know like <laughs> puts a lot of things is in life story is worse than a global pandemic well in our own little boxes you know oh, like, oh okay no not in that oh i'm like lord is that like the story of outbreak it has to be worse than that no i think just because for some of us it's not that bad right <laughs> Sure. Yeah. I know you hear about like the news and everything happening in the world and then you're in your little box and you're like, not bad here. Right. I think that's why people go out and like see other people because they're like, well, I'm fine here. Why would I not go see my friends or not go do my thing? Cause it seems right. fine here. Right. So yeah, so that was, that was good, but literally was like, whew, I was mentally drained after I watched them. <laughs> But it is kind of cool. So I want to see that Ben Affleck movie, The Way Back. It's like that. He's like, um, it's a basketball coach movie or whatever. Oh. Um, so there's a few good movies to see. Because we have tons. I don't know about you. We have a lot of iTunes cards that we have not, that my girls have gotten over the years that we just don't use. Mm, no, we do not. If we get an oh. iTunes card, you don't. <laughs> So we could, so we use those for, we use that for our movie. So mm -hmm. that worked out. And then, um, but I got some news for you, Melissa. What? I think everyone should take a trip to Benny's because I heard, I heard, huh. I can't do this. I'm not a good, I'm not a good liar. You heard that the governor's going to stop selling booze yeah so i was gonna i was gonna scare you about this because i saw the headline yesterday and it then i started well, reading the the comments i'm like what and literally i was like huh mm -hmm. no was it's like, not true. that's impossible i mean you know how much they and then i started happen. reading like and then i saw brit's like this is fake news brit commented <laughs> she did it in here and then other um, people kept commenting and it's like, oh my God, I about had a panic attack. <laughs> I was like dying laughing. I don't, I don't think they're going to stop selling anything that they tax. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So we have some questions here, Rhonda. Oh, okay. Good morning, Renata. How are you? Hi, Renata. Sorry, I rambled there for a while. No, it's good. It's fine. That's my job. I just keep I keep track of this as best as I can. Sometimes not great. Um, see, I'm touching my face. I've got to stop touching my face. Get yeah, my hands in my armpits. I was young. Um, about that. Okay, so Julie is, uh, first of all, let's go up a little bit. Brent yeah. said that it went well with Claire, um, but she did break down and had to give her a hug before they left, which... I think seems fine to do. It's your daughter. It's your daughter. You got to hug your daughter. 
Um, but it's 12 hours. So she drove four hours there, spent four hours with her and then drove four hours home. That's a long day, girl. Yeah. But I bet it was worth it. I bet it was. Um, Julie's birthday is coming up on Sunday, guys. And she's excited because she's going to go pick up a wine and cheese platter. I'm thinking about doing it for date night Friday. But happy birthday to you, Julie. Um, hopefully your kids will razzle and has Leah there at the house. Um, and then we've got this question. Where do you go to get the movies, Rhonda? Um, I think you can get them on like Apple. Um, if you have uh, Apple, or this, if you have Apple TV, because that's what we did was we did it through our Apple TV. Mm -hmm. um, so I think you can get them through like iTunes or whatever. I'd have to ask my husband for definite, but I'm pretty sure that's how we did it. Apple TV thing. Julie said, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. What? About the kids rattling and dazzling. Oh, her. right. <clears throat> yeah. Yesterday, I have one little guy who is very in tune with what I'm doing all the time, pays attention. Yesterday at the end of the day, Clay comes up to me and he says, mom, you're always working so hard. You're like running around all day. Like, I think it's adorable that you notice that and then actually say something about it. You know, like, uh -huh. most of them are like, on their own, they're doing their own business. James, right. like, why don't you sit down? Like, I don't, I don't want to sit down. Right. Because then I'll get antsy and I don't want to be antsy. If you don't have the apple, Britt, I think you're out of luck on this. I don't know. I'll, I'll find out from Frank. He's like the tech guy in the house. Yeah. For this stuff. But Francesca is the one who told me about the new release movies because she had a lot of friends watching the stuff. So I was like, hmm. And I, I feel like that makes sense for like, because these movies are going to be killed during this time. So oh, yeah. I was taking a beat. Kind of still get something out of it. Right. So like, like Frank and I justified it as instead of 80 bucks going to movies, it costs us 20 bucks, you know. Yeah, for sure. It's much cheaper. <laughs> Just pop your own popcorn, drink your own pop. Right. You <laughs> yeah, can yeah. make a cocktail. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I haven't, I don't go to the movie very often. I actually became oh, kind of full of it. Because of that. <laughs> the cost of it or because you can't make a cocktail? No, because the cost. My yeah. husband was like. Was I, um, after like the, all the shooting started up. And there was that one, and I just became a little fearful of the movie theater. I am anxious when I go to a movie. It's unpleasant, so. Yeah. Very often. I like it. I do enjoy it. Like, if I could let go of my, like, fearful motherhood, you know, Please. thing. My husband has that same yeah, I, way about the theater and I, the malls. I just feel like you're a sitting duck. Um, um so today I am going to work and then I'm going to, I'm not going to work. I'm going to stay right where I am here. Um, oh, Brett said she looked it up and you can do it on Google Play. Oh, there, there you, perfect. Um, and I'm hoping it's going to be nice. I heard uh, yeah. that it is. Uh, going the to sun is shining. That was nice to see through the window today. Birds chirping, sun shining. Um, so I think I might go over to the club and run that lap. I don't know. The kids can just, the nice thing about it is I can just run and they can catch up when they want to and they do whatever they want to do. Um, if I cared about fishing, I suppose I could try to take them fishing. I'm going to try to get them doing something today outside. Mm -hmm. Or likes to go somewhere to walk. Yeah, I know. Well, it's better. Yeah. Hey, hi, good morning. No hats today. Rhonda can't even find her hat. It's, and it's uh, I just showered. Now it's, it's so not, hard. It's not greasy here. It's wet hair. I've showered, cleaned yeah. myself up. Put on deodorant. Is hair texture changing? Is what? Your hair texture changing? Mine? Yeah. No, it's just wet. Well, mine's changing. I don't know what's happening. Oh my God, here we go. <laughs> this is perimenopausal nonsense. Oh, I'm starting to wonder. Starting to wonder. We've been talking about you being in perimenopause for like three years. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to wonder. Oh, I do have to tell you guys, update. Um, 
I went to Menards yesterday and I guess it was Friday. I was maybe Saturday. I don't know exactly. Um, I was busting this one's chops about how she says the disposer and I call it the disposal. But the fact is we're both right. Some of them are disposals and some of them are disposers. Who'd have known? Who'd have known? I knew it. <laughs> um, thinks I have my own language. Yeah, so Janet says she hasn't been to a movie in forever. She went to the AMC in Morris because the movies there are like uh, six bucks, a lot cheaper. Yeah, I like to go out to Yorkville. But I don't know how much cheaper it is. Um, Britt says no chlorine, so that's why your hair is better or different. And Renata thinks you should ask Quarantino where your hat is. <laughs> You know, you're probably Quarantino. Right, Maybe that's where it is. No, it's sitting. He's been my pal. I mean, right. he's sitting right here next to me. Yeah, but he's not. Maybe he's the quote. Maybe he's the reason. Someone's the reason. I imagine. I imagine it's there somewhere in your house. Yeah. So, um, I, um, so yeah, I saw the sunshine today. And I thought to myself, and I know you know what I was like thinking about it. I was like, hmm. A year ago, I won't remind you what we were doing a year ago. We were, I know, but the it wasn't like the weather was that much better than it is here right now. No, but the ocean was the there. The ocean was there. That's true. And we did have a couple very hot days. Remember, we were cooking. We had a tan. Last year, we had a tan. I didn't look like this. It, it was ocean spray air. spray air. Renata watched Call of the Wild. I love that book. I taught that book. What is she reading? She, no, she watched Call of the Wild. Oh, so uh, she she did the same thing, because that's on that's one of the new movies. So mm -hmm. she did the new movie thing too, because that looks really good too. Was it good? Uh, I don't know. Was it good, Renata? Julie, I think yes. The last time I drove past Mather Woods, you could still park there, but if for some reason you can't park in the lot, you could park in Creekside. There's a, there's a path into Mather Woods from Creekside. Where's Mather Woods? Mather Woods is over um, on Renwick, right by the tracks. Right by the tracks. Yeah, like Renwick and the river, the tracks there at the river. By the park district building? Well, not that far. Mm -mm. Oh, well, still. Okay. Um, so Britt said she went to Rock Run and had to park at the library. Rock Run, is that off a theater? I think so. I think it's off a theater, yeah. Or, or Black Road. I'm trying to come up with some other places to go. Yeah, the... Um, Turtle Lake, we had to park at the Park District building, and that was okay. Yeah. I like that loop. How was that, the, like, loop? The other side is not nice. No, is it like, lame? Towards the expressway, and there's no water or anything. Uh -huh. so I would almost do the other side twice before I'd... Yeah, Britt said uh, it was, it's Black Road. Black Road, okay. Yeah, I think Cook County Parks are closed. Well, the Will County said it was open, and then now all of the parking lots are shut. Yeah, um, well, people are still walking over there. Yeah, it's people are still using them. It's just you, you got to figure out how to park. DuPage County Park District is the one I looked at the other day. They say our preserves are still open on their website. And they have a lot of preserves. I was hoping to go to uh, Waterfall Glen this week. I wonder if like Swallow Cliff and all that is open over there. What What is that from? It's in Palos. Um, tomorrow, guys, we are hopeful that our friend and uh, chiropractor, Dr. Chris Smith, will join us. I gotta send him a text. Yep. To remind him. Yeah. Um, and he's gonna share a little bit about how it's treating him this time of year. <clears throat> yeah, he's had to go down. His hours have gone down quite some a bit as well. I think he can only keep on like um, people who are on. Uh, treatment plan yeah like you can't bring on new patients or something. yeah no maintenance like kind of stuff yeah i uh i think and i i wonder it'll be interesting to hear like what cdc is saying to you know the, the medical community yeah 
Yeah, because it seems like this week and next week are tough weeks. Yeah. Uh, and it sounds the like they're the delayed stress. to April 30th now. But so the governor hasn't said that for the state of Illinois. No, but that's like the recommendation from the CDC. Federal government. Yeah, imagine he'll tell us today. That would be my guess because, you know, he does this 2.30 thing. Yeah. Um, the Swallow Cliff is to no bueno. It's closed. Oh, it is. Oh, bummer. Uh huh. Yeah, that would have been fun. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll have to figure out another way to have fun, folks. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to wrap it up. All right. Water Waterfall Glen, according to the websites, DuPage County uh, Forest Preserves are open. So the Waterfall Glen is not that far. You just take 55 to I think it's 83, whatever, Arbonne, Arbonne, not Arbonne, Argonne. Arbonne is like facial stuff. Argonne is the scientist. Um, that's for it, right? Not too far from Swallow Cliff over there. Then. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. I don't know how far south Swallow Cliff is. But anyway, so I'm going to try to make that happen at some point. Um, okay. I have something I'd like to share with you guys. And then uh, Rhonda, I'm going to have you take it away. Anybody, if you have any new prayer requests, um, yeah, I think I think largely we should just be praying for everyone we know um, to stay healthy. <laughs> right? Number one, like, let's just stay where you are and do what they tell you to do and stay as healthy as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I reached out to my neighbors last night. I'm hoping to hear back from some of them today, see how they're doing, if I can bring them anything. I live on a, a older court here in town that most of the people are retired. Um, so my kids are like the loud people on the court. But the verse that I wanted to share with you guys is um, Esther 4.14. Perhaps you were born for such a time as this. So I think sometimes we we fall into like, um, a bit of self-doubt about how we can handle it, if we can handle it, if it's going to be okay. And we were all made for this. We were all made to, to carry on and get up and just take the next step. And that's all you have to do is just take today's step and then we'll move on with tomorrow, tomorrow. So I'm going to make a coloring page out of this because this is the one um, sometimes some of the scriptures hit me and I think I really need to see that more often. So I will make a coloring page of this today and uh, post that up on our Facebook page. So if anybody wants to color a pretty, pretty little verse, it'll be there. All right. And the Jesus Calling book today was pretty fitting, I thought. So can I interrupt you real quick? Yeah. Britt said her sister's friend who is a nurse has COVID-19 and needs prayers for herself and her husband and four kids. Oh, yeah. That's rough. Oh, man. Okay, that was, that was the one. All right, here we go. Um, I am taking care of you. Trust me at all times. Trust me in all circumstances. Trust me with all your heart. When you are weary, everything seems to be going wrong. You can still utter these four words, I trust you, Jesus. By doing so, you release matters into my control and you fall back into the security of my everlasting arms. Before you rise from your bed in the morning, I have already arranged the events of your day. Every day provides many opportunities for you to learn my ways and grow closer to me. Signs of my presence brighten even the dullest day when you have eyes that really see. Search for me as for hidden treasure. I will be found by you. And um, the verse that I liked from this was uh, Proverbs 3, 5, which is um, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. So. No, I don't think any of us have any understanding of this. So no. really all we can do is just trust God. Yep. One day at a time. Okay. Um, so tomorrow we'll see you hopefully with Dr. Chris Smith and, uh, he always brings a fun energy to yes, the, the space that he, that he's in. So that'll be good. Um, everybody have a great day and hopefully I'll find my hat. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, she'll find her hat. I am going to, um, just real quickly, 
I'm going to, I'm going to, um, you know what, Ron, I think let's end this and then come back and do that screen share. Oh, okay. That, because I think that'll um, help. I'm trying to figure out how to help people learn how to do, uh, get the notifications that we're live on YouTube. So and that's, we'll, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye.